Look at one of the, at the president's shifting explanations, the White House shifting explanations for what happened in that meeting at the Trump Tower back in June of 2016 with Don Jr. Uh, I remember when, when this was first reported, uh, Jay Sekulow was on my program, so the president had nothing at all to do with that letter. Later, Sarah Sanders said, well, wait, he, he sort of weighed in, but he didn't dictate it. And now this letter from the president's lawyers say very, very clearly he dictated the statement. How do you explain those shifting explanations? Uh, happened to me uh, with the whole situation of repeating uh, uh, the money that was laid out by Cohen. Uh, when I first, uh, when the first president first talked about it, nobody focused on it. Nobody thought about it. That was a very busy time. And then when we got on board, we, we, I went through everything. Uh, it was the only change we had to make. At that point, this other change had been made. When you consider the big scope of this narrative, it's four or five changes. It's a complicated thing. The president was there. He was dealing well, I don't with know. the letter. At first, it was all denied, and now you're saying he dictated. But I, I don't know that Jay, uh, Jay would have to answer that, and I, I've talked to him about it. I think Jay was wrong. I mean, this is, this is the reason you don't let the president testify. Uh, if, you know, every, our recollection keeps changing, or we're not even asked a question, and somebody makes an assumption. In my case, I made an assumption. Then, I, then, then we corrected, and I got it right out as soon as, as, soon as, as soon as it happened. I think that's what happened here. I was struck by something else in the letter. And when you're discussing that, that dictation by the president, the letter says that this was a private matter between the president and the New York Times. Is, is that really correct? I mean, when you give a, a misleading statement to a newspaper or say something misleading on television, it's well, not just know, to think, the organization. I, it's to the viewers. It's to the public. Again, I didn't write the letter, but I think it means... It's not a 1,001 situation. For example, if you said that, and that's, again, the danger of being interviewed. If, if uh, gosh, if I something, say something wrong on this show, and sometimes I did, George, in the past, not this we time. We all do. We all make mistakes. <laughs> when we make sure. But just to, be, just to be clear, to press that point, because the, the letter is very explicit. It says, any time for any reason, if the FBI developed evidence that the president had accepted a bribe or committed murder, the president could terminate that investigation? I would not go that far. I, I would not go that far, George. I mean, J John, uh, you'd have to ask John exactly what he's relying on for that. I wouldn't go that far. I think under circumstances where there's no, where, where at best there's ambiguity as to whether there was intent. Well, for every one of these things he did, we can write out five reasons why he did it. If four of them are completely innocent and one of them is your assumption that it's a guilty motive, which the president would deny, I, you, can't, you can't possibly prosecute him. Letter also, or recommend impeachment. Letter also cites the president's pardon power. Do you and the president's attorneys believe the president has the power to pardon himself? Uh, he pro he's not, but he probably does. I mean, he, has, he has no intention of pardoning uh, himself, but he probably does. It doesn't say he can't. I mean, that, this is another inter really interesting constitutional argument. Can the president pardon himself? I, you think I, it's an open I, I used question? to run the pardon attorney. Uh, it, it would be an open question. I think it would probably get answered by, gosh, that's what the Constitution says, and if you want to change it, change it. But, yeah. A lot of focus on the president. I, I think the political ramifications of that would be tough. Pardoning other people is one thing. Pardoning yourself is another. Other presidents have pardoned people in circumstances like this, both both in their administration and sometimes the next president, even if a different party will come along. Short response. I know it's not a crime to lie to us in the media. <laughs> but, but was he un... Would, let me ask you this. Was he misinformed at the time? Or, or, or what happened? I think it's a case... I mean, I obviously asked Jay about this. Uh, I, I think he was uninformed at the time, just like I was uh, when I came into the case. He, he was just in the case. Uh, this is a point that maybe wasn't clarified in terms of recollection and his understanding of it. And what Jay did was he, he, he immediately uh, corrected it. Uh, and even if it had been on oath, you would call that recanting. And, and it's Jay, not the president. So that's the wisdom of not having a president testify. Uh, it's one thing to do it with a lawyer. Yeah. It's another thing to do it with, 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 with your client. Uh, I want to talk about <laughs> pardons in general. And one of the arguments in the memo is that the president could essentially end this with the power of pardon. Do you believe the president could also pardon himself? Well, it's not going to happen. So it's a hypothetical point. I think the presidential power, there's nothing that limits the presidential power of pardon from a federal crime, not a state crime. Um, President Trump is not going to do that. He's obviously not going to give up any of his pardon powers or any other future president's pardon powers. But under these circumstances, he's not going to do that. Uh, the then other why pardons, put it in the memo? Why put it in the memo, though, if he isn't going to do it? <coughs> Was it a threat? Is this a veiled threat to Mueller? Hey, buddy, you push it too far. Look what we could do. We could end your probe. Well, you're not asking the guy who wrote the memo, right? Fair so, enough. Uh, I'm not sure I would have written that, uh, Chuck. I, uh, I think it's a hollow, it's sort of a hollow promise. It comes uh, across, you is, think it does come across as a threat, or you worry that it, it may be interpreted a as a threat? It, it, almost uh, impractical. 
You know, he, the guy, the, the, the president of the United States, mm -hmm. um, pardoning himself would just be unthinkable. And it would, it would, it would lead to probably an immediate impeachment. You know, you get the House, yeah. Senate would be under tremendous, tremendous pressure. Uh, president Trump has no need to do that. He didn't do anything wrong. Uh, this is a terrible investigation. It yeah. is, uh, if you're not supposed to interfere with a president, theoretically, they are interfering with the president, American foreign policy, and the world Let directly. By the way, this, with North Korea. If, if Robert Mueller comes to you and 